Hey there, Sam Ashers, and welcome to Sam Ash Live, the only place on the internet where you can find Dave Stutz holding this guitar pick right here. The only place, and you found it. Nice job. Today we're looking at the brand new, just released Fender Mustang GT100. We're going to go through some of the sounds and just take a look at it. It's fresh out of the box. I haven't played with it much, so we're going to learn it together, and that's pretty cool. So we all know about the Fender Mustangs. They've been out for a long time. Um, you can usually find them in various models and various price points. We had the Mustang 1, Mustang 2, Mustang 3, and 4. I believe those were the series that we've always had. The 1 was the smallest, 2, 3, and then 4 was actually a pretty decent sized amp. Um, what do they normally have? They've got uh, you know, sounds, presets, um, amps, different amps, different effects, things like that. This one is no different, but it has a whole lot more into it. So what you just heard was preset 100. That one was called White Keys, right? Kind of sounds like another band we all know and love. So that's a really cool preset. But when you first boot it up, you start out right here on basic 65 twin. So it sounds a little something like this. whole wide world of presets and sounds and different things like that. 65 Princeton, 65 Deluxe, 57 Champ, 57 Deluxe, 57 Twin, and it goes on and on and on. I believe it has 107 presets. Let's go to number 36. I remember that one being kind of cool. So just really cool, I didn't have to do any work. We just have an amazing E minor uh, harmonizer effect. So it plays thirds on top of what I play, and as long as you stay in E minor, or the relative major, which is G, um, then you get some really cool harmonies and cool sounds out of it. And that was with no work. I just dialed up number 36. That's what the Mustangs are great for. Uh, if you just need a nice, not just for practice, but a nice practice amp that just has a lot of sounds built into it so you don't have to buy a lot of pedals and things like that. The Mustangs are great for that. And these would honestly be great for recording too. You're hearing this straight out of a ribbon mic and it sounds awesome. This is the GT100, so this is 100 watts. Um, let's see, I've got my little fact sheet right here that comes with the amp. I believe it comes in three models. It does, the GT40, the 100, and the 200. So you can double the wattage if you want or you can crank it down and get the 40, just depending on your situation. A nice practice amp in an apartment or something like that, maybe the 40 watt's fine. 100 watt, I think, is a nice middle of the road amp. This thing cranks, we turned it up really loud earlier and it made the whole room vibrate. 200 watts, I don't even know what that would do. That would just blow the roof off, but that's an awesome uh, amount of options for you, 40 to 200 watts. And honestly, we're kind of living in a new day of guitar playing, aren't we? I mean, um, not a lot of people are, are really buying the, the super big full stacks. Let me just be loud and huge and heavy. A lot of people get a nice mid-range amp that they can push, that can breathe and crank, but you can mic to get the rest of the volume. So a GT100 
would be awesome. You could gig with this. You could go to the, you know, any sort of gig that you have. And uh, I'm gonna ask my producer, can we get a top-down shot real quick? Check out this handle. This is one of the first thing I no first things that I noticed, which is really cool. Um, it's actually made of like a, a really tough polymer with a nice uh, like rubber coating. This is one of the nicest handles I've seen on an amplifier. Um, because usually, if you look at a tube amp or something like that, we get either like a leather strap or a nylon. That's what people are used to seeing on amps. And I play like a big heavy 212 tube amplifier that weighs a million pounds. And I'm always worried that one of these days when I go to pick it up from that leather handle, it's just gonna snap. Whereas something like this is awesome. It's like really heavy duty. And for this amp, it almost doesn't even matter because it's so light. This is a really, really light solid state amp. So it's easy to carry around. It's comfortable. It's got a great handle. Uh, let's try another preset. Why not? I think we did, we did the clean. We did the keys one. Uh, oh, 58 metal octave. That sounds cool. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> So again, with no effort, I just dialed in an awesome preset with no work. I just turned the knob. That's what's great about the Mustang GTs. They just take all of the work out of it for you. And you can customize any of this. If I wanted to take the metal octave, but turn down the gain a little bit, I have the control to do that. So I just roll the gain off. thing you may notice, Dave, can we get another top-down view? You may notice that, uh, oh, well, first of all, I switched presets accidentally in between, so now we're on Aussie Rock. That might be why it sounds like that. But you'll notice that this square right here is now red. That means I've taken a preset and I've made some sort of change. So in this case, I messed with the gain a little bit. So now that it's red, it's telling you something's different about it. And then if you really like it, it's glowing for you right here. It says save. So it makes it super easy. Oh, which button is it to save this preset? Oh, the glowing one that says save. So that's really awesome. And then if you don't want to save anything, you can just roll it back to metal octave and roll it back down to Aussie rock. And you'll notice that it's blue now. So that's just a standard preset. So again, I take metal octave and as soon as I touch the gain, you'll see that it turns red and that save icon pops up. How cool is that? So I tell you what, let's go ahead and build a preset. So we'll scroll back up to that's going to take a little bit because there's so many different presets. Let's scroll back up to our first clean sound and remind ourselves what exactly that sounded like. Okay, nice and clean. Let's add an effect. So we have these three buttons right here that I have found do various things. You can change the EQ down here with the scroll wheel, which I'm not sure why anyone would choose to go for that option because you can control all of that with these knobs right here, but you can still do it this way if you want. So you scroll through, you choose what you want, you click the, the gray dial and you roll it this way. Again, not exactly sure why you would do that, but some people want it. Why not have that feature? 
but we will get rid of that. I believe you back out with this. And in the middle here, these are really like our sounds. What amp are we using? So let's add an effect. Over here, I, all I did was press this middle button to get into this setup. I see what we already have, and then you see this green plus sign right here. So I'm gonna select that. And now we have all of our options. So let's add a nice reverb, because there's nothing better than a nice reverb out of a nice Fender amp. Let's go for like a 65 spring, or something like that. Let's see if we can already hear a difference. Definitely, you can hear that reverb. So now we've got a lot of space, a lot of space in our sound. So I like that. Let's, um, let's add something else. I'm gonna click this again, go over to that green uh, plus sign. Let's add some delay. Let's go with like a tape delay, something like that. So that has been chosen. Wait, that's not what I wanted, is it? Okay, I wasn't sure if that's what I wanted, so I clicked on it again, and now it's giving me options. Do I want to bypass it, replace it, move it, add an effect to it? I'm going to say replace, because I'm not sure that's exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to go back to delay, and it was on tape delay, so I got it right. So that's fine. I'll back out of it. Let's see. How do I back out? I don't know. It doesn't super matter. So let's hear what we got. Cool, so this gave us a really super slow delay, but there's a tap tempo right here. So let's go for something um, a little more offbeat. We'll do like a dotted 16th. So if I wanna play something like this, then we have to go with like a, so that's what I'm gonna do. Jump, 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 jump. See what we get. That's exactly what I was looking for. So then you can do really cool, um, cool arpeggiated kind of stuff. Let's try again. that up but you get the point um, so you can click save that's a cool sound that we just dialed in so with a few button clicks really easy really idiomatic very user-friendly we have an entire new sound we've we've edited one of the presets we've taken a nice clean sound we've added some reverb we've added some delay um, we can add distortion on top of that let's see uh, let's see what else like just to kind of go through it let's see what other options we would have had but before we do that we have a question. Hi, I'm interested in the GT100 or GT200 from Sven Herbst. Is it possible to play it very silent too? I have two little childs and can only play in the evening when they are sleeping. Yes, absolutely. So you might want to, oh, you're interested in the GT100 or the 200. So you're not interested in the 40. I would say that the 40 will be the quietest, but you can still make the GT100 pretty quiet. So let's try it. So you have some, some kitties in the house. Congratulations on the kitties. Let's, uh, let's go to a preset. As soon as I learn how to back out of this stuff, I know there's a way to back out of it and I'm just not doing it. Menu, menu. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see part two, Sven, before we get in too deep into your question. Additional to my question, currently I'm playing with the Boss Katana with power increased to 0.5 watts. This is working very well, but the Mustang uh, don't have the possibility or... Okay, um, no, you, there, as far as I can see right now, there's no variable wattage. 
options. They, they are what they are, 40 watt, 100 watt, 200 watt. I will take a brief look for you because like I said, this is, this is really new, this amp. Uh, let's see. I see power, USB, a foot switch option, line out. Here's the deal, I'm not, I'm not gonna say no right away, but I don't believe there's any variable wattage options. Cause it would say, this is the card when you come to the shop that normally hangs in front of the amp that gives you all the ideas about it, full specs. Um, such as the fact that it has a Celestian 12 inch speaker in it. Um, but I don't see anything about variable wattages. But let's hear how quiet we can get it, which is going to be relative during a live stream, of course, because um, you know there's how loud you have your computer on and stuff. But this is like an average volume. Ooh, that's actually kind of loud. Those pesky G strings. Let's see how quiet we can make it. So I'm going to turn all the way off. So that's super quiet. Sitting next to it, my guitar is louder than the amp, but I can hear it coming out of the amp. My guitar is really out of tune. Um, it's very quiet right now. I think you'd be fine. Um, because there, I mean, I will say there is an option for a headphone as well, but you know, headphones only go so far. It never sounds as good in the headphones as it does out of the amp. Um, but it does get very quiet. If you work the master knob just right, it's, it's really quiet right now. Um, so. Thanks for your questions, Fen. I think you'd be fine with this. There's a lot of great effects and sounds in it. Um, maybe consider the GT40, but it can get pretty quiet. Sam Archer wants to know what guitar I'm playing. Sam, thank you so much for that question. Um, this is a really cool guitar. This is an Area Pro 2. Um, they don't make them anymore. I've never seen them before, uh, or I haven't seen them in a while. Uh, I believe they originated in Japan. This one was made in Korea. Um, when I was around 12 years old, I was looking to get my first nice guitar. I still had my first guitar that I ever played since I was like five. Um, and I saw this one hanging in a music shop in Newport News, Virginia called Jeff's Vintage Music, which is no longer there anymore. Um, and I would always see it hanging in for like, I think a year or so. I saw it hanging on the wall and I'd been saving up money for like three years to get my first nice guitar. Uh, the salesman, it was his personal guitar he was selling. It was pre-owned. And he wanted, I think, 400 bucks for it. He gave me a break on it for 350. I had 300 bucks. My parents gave me the rest. And then I got my first really nice guitar, and that's this one. It's an Area Pro 2. It's kind of got a Les Paul copy sort of body with a little bit bigger lower bout, but it's much thinner, as you can tell. It's uh, neck through design. And it's, uh, it's really nice. It's a cool guitar. Area Pro 2. Look them up. They, are, they were really nice when they were out, and then they just... Didn't make them anymore. Uh, Sammy Ash knows a lot about them. He was actually giving me a little bit of a history lesson on my own guitar, which was pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for asking. It's uh, one of my favorite guitars. I've had it a long time, about 16 years or so. And it was older than that when I got it. So it's been around a while. It's at least 20 years old. Um, so how fortuitous that my guitar would fall out of tune. Let me show you the tuner. It's actually got a built-in tuner, which is pretty rad. Um, so you go to menu here. And in menu, we have these, all these really cool options. The first thing it landed on was set list. So let's say you create a bunch of sounds that you really like um, and you have a gig coming up and you created, let's say like five sounds for that gig, five different songs or something like that. You can save them all on a set list and queue them up. And I believe this works in tandem with the four button foot switch that you can get with the GT series. I don't think it comes native with them, but, uh, or come in the box rather, but you can get them. Bluetooth, so you can hook up uh, your favorite devices, Bluetooth devices like uh, your, your iPhones, your Android devices to play music through the amp. 
So, uh, you, you know, your favorite John Mayer lick, if you just can't get it, you can sync it up to this and play along with it. And if you're on stage, nobody can hack your amp. It's, uh, I think it's like a one-time passcode that you have to put into your device so that only you can use it, and then you can reset it and do another device. But, you know, when you're playing on stage, nobody can, can hack your amp, which is pretty cool. Wi-Fi built in so you can uh, upgrade your firmware, things like that, and uh, in different sounds. I think they're including sounds in it. You can click about this amp to tell you what version you're currently running. Um, so if you're like, man, do I have that new update? You can check it right there. Uh, amp settings, expression setup, global EQ, and here's tuner. So let's tune this bad boy. This one's pretty cool. In fact, I'm not even going to link the amp. I'm going to look at the screen with you guys. So pretty standard. E right in the middle is what I'm looking for. And it turns green when it's ready. A, right in the middle. A is pretty good. D is pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect, but on or around the middle is what you want. So G is a little flat. I'm going to bring that up. And just like in true tuner fashion, it'll pop around and tell you it's different notes. A sharp, F, but G right in the middle. There we go, that's pretty good. B, B was really flat. Let's bring B up. All right, that's pretty good. Let's go E. E was right on the money. And then you back out with that top button right there. So let's see how the tuner did. Turn it back up a little bit since we turned it down for Sven because his kids are sleeping. Turn your speakers down for Sven's kids, please. Just kidding. Did a pretty good job. I think it sounds good. What else can we get into? I like that menu. Let's see what else is in the menu. Uh, amp settings. Let's see what that does. I don't even know. Restore presets, restore all settings, restore all. So that's pretty cool. If you go in and just make an entire universe of different presets and, and all sorts of stuff in here and you're just like, forget it, I just want to restore it all, then you can hit restore all. That's pretty cool. Bluetooth. Let's see what the set list menu looks like. Okay, it just has an add button because I haven't done anything. So you can add a set list. Uh, quick access. Basic 65 twin. Okay, so you can, oh, okay. So like some of your favorite presets you can add to the, looks like you can add to the quick access preset. So right now it just has the first three, but I showed you three sounds today because those were kind of the cool sounds I found. If I wanted to throw them in there, I could have. So I'm learning on the fly with you. So we'll back out of that. So just a really nice amp. It comes with uh, an aux port right here in case you don't want to go Bluetooth. If you want to go old school, like a savage, and plug your phone in with a cable. Who uses cables anymore? Just kidding. I have some cables. You can plug it in that way, headphones here. Um, I might tilt the amp forward when we're absolutely done and show you the back because there's a lot of output options which are really cool that I think you're going to want to see. But what do you say? Let's do maybe three or four more presets. We'll show you the back and we'll go that way. We have a question from Mauricio. Mauricio asks, can you control it with an optional pedal? Yeah, you can. So there's, there's two two options you can go with. One is the four button foot switch. Um, let's see. Uh, four button foot switch with looping function. Oh, included with the GT200 optional for the GT40 and the GT100. So you get four buttons. Um, usually those buttons are assignable, but one is going to be loop. One's usually reverb, I think. And then the other two are usually like the other two effects. I believe, I believe. Um, and you'll get that with the GT200. So that might be another cool option for you if you're debating the 100 and the 200 um, and you can, you know, swing for the 200. Why not get the one with the foot switch, right? So that's pretty cool. But then there's another option, I believe, with an expression pedal because when we were, when we were inside the amp under the hood a little bit, uh, we noticed something in the menu called like expression one, something like that. So I think you can do some things with an expression pedal. I see an access for a foot switch. Here's what I'm gonna say. This amp's really new, I'm not super sure, but I believe you can use an expression pedal to, um, you know, just to increase what expression pedals do, right? So like if you, if you wanna assign it to the gain switch, you can use it to crank the gain to go into a solo and pull it back to go into your regular song. You can add it 
has like tap tempo. So the more you, you go forward, the quicker the delay is, and then the slower the delay is when you pull it back, things like that. I think you can use that with this. I'm not sure. I'm sorry I don't have more info about that. Um, but you know, it's brand new. We're learning together. Um, so let's see what else it can do. Since we don't have any other questions right now. Wide selection of amp models, including classic and modern Fender types and many others. Dozens of sonically versatile stomp boxes, modulation, delay, and reverb effects. A hundred tone presets included for a wide variety of music styles that can be personalized and saved. Now this has a hundred tone presets. I could have sworn I saw 107, so I feel like they're already even updating more sounds into this, which is really cool. Create grouped presets, ideal for gigs, rehearsals, favorite lists, genres, etc. Fender Tone app is a free download for deep editing, online community, preset sharing, artist content, and more. So cool. Download the app, totally free. Download other people's presets, see what other people are doing, share yours, create a community around Fender where you're sharing people's sounds. Hey, look what I came up with. I'll upload it to the, what's it called? The da, 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 Fender Tone app. I'll upload it to the Tone app. Let other people check it out. They can download my tone. I can download other people's tones. That's pretty cool. I like that. Chromatic tuner, we saw that. Pretty sweet. <laughs> um, I feel like there was one other thing in the menu that I saw that was really cool. That as I was reading through that, I wanted to talk about. But you know what? I can't remember, which means it wasn't important. So let's go through uh, a few more presets. And then we will wrap up this stream because I know you guys want to hear it. Uh, let's just scroll through them. I'll pull up a few and we'll do it. This one's called Basic Supersonic. Dave says, where's the box? It's right here. I hid it behind the couch so no one could see it. What do you want to know about it? Put it where? Put it in front of the amp? Put it, put it here? Is that where you wanted it? Read the screen. Read the screen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does it come with a manual? Was that the question? Yes, it comes with a manual. Sorry. I didn't read the screen. Look, we just unboxed it. How cool is that? Ugh. Comes with all this stuff. Let's see how in detailed this thing is. Mustang Fender GT. Oh yeah. Total, totally comes with a manual, which tells you every last little thing about what to do. It's very cool. I like this manual. And here's the deal. It's an open back amp, at least the 100 is. I got to imagine that the 40 and the 200 are the same way. So do yourself a favor. This thing is so thin. I think they designed it like this for what I'm about to say. Just keep it in the back of the amp, you know? It's not gonna affect your tone. And then you'll always have it as a reference. How cool is that? Okay, preset 18, basic supersonic. stack metal 2000 basic basic metal 2000 you want advanced metal you got to keep going into the presets this one's basic metal <laughs> we got studio presets let's get out of the word basic let's get beyond that spoonful <laughs>
a nice reverb on it. That's pretty cool. Wild Nocturne. Nighttime kind of sound, meaner streets, Huckleberry jamming. We already played the E minor Avenger. Johnny Marr clean, so you got like an artist preset right there. That's pretty cool. What does Johnny Marr clean sound like? Like a ping pongy sort of delay. Thanks, Johnny. Cool. I'm not going to play presets that I can't pronounce the name of because I don't want to embarrass myself. Loud as leads. This one scares me. I'm going to cut to this, and if it's not as loud as leads, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Kind of gives it almost that room reverb sort of sound. It is pretty loud though. we got let's do a few more it's fun it's fun lead communication country deluxe might as well might as well country deluxe we'll keep this on the treble side you know not to be not to assume things but I'm sure it might have some twang to it <laughs> Got like almost like a little bit of crunch to it. It's got a really subtle reverb. Like you have to play it, stop, and then listen for the reverb. It's there though. It's not super clean. It's it's clean, but it's definitely got some aggression to it. with the gain settings on the amp until uh, I got that really desirable, you know, clean with a little bit of distortion, which just makes it sound kind of more clean by having just a little distortion on it, which it already sort of sounded like. I'm not discrediting the preset, but I just wanted to play with it a little bit. What else we got? The Evil Bass Man, Angry Rodent. I have to know what Angry Rodent sounds like. <laughs> I think of what an angry rodent would sound like.
Angry Ronin's cool. I can imagine building another user preset on top of that with that as a base. That's, it's a really cool lead channel. It's almost fuzzy, but crunchy and uh, lead distortion-y, overdrive -y at the same time. It's like, it's like everything. Is there a difference between 40, 100, and 200? Is the difference only in power? Comes to us from Frost's, Frostsco guys. There's two Gs though. Frost, it's on YouTube. Frost, Frost Cog guys. Frost Cog guys. What a cool name. Um, is, there, is the difference only in power? Um, I have to imagine. You're going to get all the same presets. Um, because when we had our brief meeting with our Fender representative, he never mentioned that the presets are different between each amp. So I think you're fine there. The difference is definitely going to be in power and uh, in wattages, which, you know, there's, there's more to it than that. Um, but we don't want to get into the science of it all. Just basically for us guitar players in layman's term, yes, the biggest difference is power. But we also learned that the GT200 will come with that four button foot switch which is pretty cool. I don't exactly know the prices. If you want to check out the prices, there's a link below. It's got to be below. It's never above. Link below. I've always wanted to do that. Check out the link right here, but I think I'm pointing, I have to point below the frame because it's in the, it's, it's going to be in the description. But you can go to samash.com. You can call 1-800-4-SAM-ASH, which is 1-800-472-6274. You can go to samash.com, call, call one of our representatives to find out the prices. But if the price difference between the 100 and 200 is fairly negligible, then I would, uh, I'd say go for that because you get the four button foot switch. How cool is that? Let's do a couple more presets. I just want to point out we're only at 51 so far and we've already heard a lot of cool presets and there's over 100. So that's cool. You can really sit here and mess with some stuff. Let's hear Liquid Solo. I think this one has migrated from the other GTs. I remember uh, sitting at the Sam Ash store in Forest Hills, New York, which is our Queens location, checking out the, the Mustang 4, which is that big amp I was telling you about. And I remember, sorry, excuse me, Liquid Solo being a, a really cool effect. So I think this one has migrated over. <laughs> So it's definitely got some killer delay in it. Sometimes when a, when a preset delay is going off, I like to try to chase it a little bit uh, and see if it'll catch up, which it never does, right? Because it's automatic. Why would it catch up with you? keep going through presets until I get bored, which will be never. Europa, that sounds cool. Aussie Rock, we've done that. Metal Octave, we did that. Neil Deluxe, Touch of Reverb. Purple Fuzz, Cranked Princeton, Small Champ, Bolero, Basement Splash. Far Beyond, <laughs> Far Beyond Driven. That's funny. That almost sounds like, that's like a, a movie screenplay. That sounds like something that, uh, that Bill Bufa, our GM in, in Hollywood, like submitted to a director or something. Far Beyond Driven. What a cool name. I have to know what that sounds like.
cool sound. I like that sound. And it sounded far beyond driven. I give it credit for it. Supersonic burn, black hole vibe. Super, <laughs> super live album. I don't know. What does that sound like? Super live album? I like to laugh and joke, but if it was my job to name all 100 of the presets, I'd have to get creative too. I'm not exactly sure what Super Live album is about, but hey, Super Live album. Killer Cortez, British Steel, uh, Mick, Mick the, <laughs> Mick the Hoople, Mick, M-I-C-K, the Hoople, H-O-O-P-L-E. So Mick is from a distant race called the Hooples. And this guy is Mick the Hoople. And his battle cry sounds like this. The Hooples are cool, man. I hang with those guys. Mick the Hoople. That's so cool. What does that mean? I have to ask the Fender rep about that. Mick the Hoople. Puppet Master. Oh man, come on, Puppet Master. We, we gotta know what that's about, right? Dave, you know, you know what Puppet Master means, right? You know what they're emulating there. Come on. That's the Fender Mustang GT100. Before we go, I'm gonna ask my producer to kill the ribbon mic, because I'm gonna tilt this amp over and show you the back a little bit, because it has some really cool output options that I want you to see. Because I think it's important, because a lot of you folks uh, might be looking for an amp to record with, uh, to gig with, so these are going to be huge options. You're going to want to run out to a sound card for your home studio or your professional studio, possibly. Um, possibly as in you're going to want to run it out to a board. If you have a pro studio, maybe you might get, I don't know. But um, if you're playing live, sometimes the best thing is to run it to a board and then they can control everything there. You don't have to worry about anything. So let's take a look at the back. I think we're going to go to the overhead and have a quick little look. Turn it towards Phil. Just do it this way, like that. Yeah. Should I put it back on the table? Leave it. Okay. So, power on and off. This is obviously where you plug in your power. USB, I imagine, look, I'm guessing here, so please forgive me, but usually what you use USB for is to plug it directly to your computer to load presets, export presets, um, do firmware updates. You might be able to, to use this as a recording interface. I'm not sure. Um, this is for your foot switch. And then these are your cool line out options. So you have two, uh, I guess, balanced XLR, or I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm not really a pro audio guy. I always forget whether it's balanced or unbalanced. If there's two of them, maybe it's unbalanced and you run both to be balanced. Sorry for my ignorance on that topic. But you have a line out just like that. You have effect sends and effect returns. So you can do a full effects loop on the back of this guy. And here you get that beautiful shot of the Celestian 12. That is an awesome speaker right here. It sounds good, you've heard it, it plays good. So you just have a lot of options. It's a really great, affordable, solid amp that gives you so many options. And this is what I was talking about before. You take your awesome little owner's manual, you drop it in right there, and then you never lose it. You don't see it, if you ever need it, it's there. Ugh. I only grunt because I'm sitting down. It's actually not heavy. And I pulled it up by that awesome handle right here, which I'm gonna showcase, because I think it's so rad. So, what do you need to do to pick up a Fender Mustang GT100 amplifier? Well, 
You can call the number on your screen, 1-800-472-6274. You can talk to any one of our representatives in the call center. They'll be happy to answer any additional questions that you may have. And they have a lot more information in front of them at their disposal. If you have specific questions, no problem. You can go to samash.com. You can go down to your local Sam Ash store. Um, let's see, usually for $2.99 and above, usually there's uh, certain financing options you can take advantage of with the Sam Ash card, which is really great. So if the difference between the Fender 100 and 200, I'm sorry, I don't have prices in front of me, but let's say the, the, the 200 qualifies for financing and you get the four button foot switch and you can pay it off minimum payments over the course of, I don't know, six months, 24 months, something like that. That's really cool. That takes your huge upfront costs, makes it a much smaller cost over the course of a few months. So you can go with that option. And how cool of a live stream was this? We got to see a brand new amp that just came out. Here's some great presets out of it. Play around, answer some great questions. Thank you all who participated today and asked us questions. We really appreciate that. I hope you got some great answers. How can you find out when we're doing this? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. These are our top social media sites that we use. Facebook is kind of our fun free for all. We put on a lot of great info there. Instagram, you'll see beautiful shots of uh, our, our gear that our awesome photographers take for us. Um, you will also see links to, well not links, but you'll see um, usually we throw up, uh, hey, check it out, we're going live at 3.30 kind of a thing. We usually do these around 3.30. Normally we do them on Fridays because we found that's when most people would enjoy tuning in. We did this on Monday because the amp is so brand new. We just wanted to get it out to you. So look for that, but you can keep up with that on Instagram, Twitter. We usually do news and noteworthy sort of things. And YouTube is where you can find all of our great video content. Um, after this uploads, this will be readily available on YouTube, maybe immediately. I don't know. It'll be available on Facebook and YouTube. Um, so check out the live streams, Facebook, YouTube. We stream on both of those, which we're very happy to do to, to answer your questions directly so you get a direct connection straight to us where you can ask your questions. Um, so definitely subscribe if you're new to the Sam Ash family because we want you to be part of the band. We want to gig with you right here online as part of Sam Ash. Uh, follow us on our social media so you know when we're doing these sort of things. Um, again, if you have any other questions about the Fender GT, 100 1 800 472 6274, which is 1 800 4 Sam Ash. Go to samash.com or go down to your local Sam Ash store. Just think Sam Ash. When you think GT100, think Sam Ash. Why not? Thank you so much for tuning in. I just realized we unplugged the amp, so I can't play you out, but maybe you can hear a little bit of the guitar through my lav mic. I'm Dave Stutz. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you next time right here on Sam Ash Live.